Hi everyone, this is Odd Apostrophe. Let's check out Rise of the Dragon uh, on Sega CD, uh, but we are actually playing this through a Mr. FPGA. Uh, again, this is one of the few actual games on the, on the Sega CD. Um, you know, it had a rash of things that were not games. I think a lot of people played this, uh, played this particular game. Uh, it was released on PC originally, um, and then, you know, later it was ported to the, uh, the Amiga and to the Sega CD. At this time, uh, you know, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Dynamics and uh, Sierra uh, were actually producing quite a few of these kind of games, you know, these, uh, these uh, you know, point-and-click kind of adventures. Again, it's sort of in the vein of, uh, you know, Famicom Detective Club and Snatcher, um, but, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, this game is sort of lost in history. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, start, I think, let's push the start button. Guess we're starting right away. There you go, baby. Have a nice trip. Hey, little friend. You got a good time for me? Mm. <laughs> Not the same kind of quality I think we get from Snatcher, but uh, you know, it's still okay. In three days, my destiny will be realized. Just as the prophecy foretells. We shall destroy those who stand against us and bring this city to its knees. The name Bahumat shall once again strike terror into the heart of man. Yeah, I met him. Nice guy. Especially in Final Fantasy games. <sighs> okay. Oh, yeah, here. I am naked. First file not existing. Mm -hmm. We got there. Got some clothes. Let's put myself clothes on myself, right? More of a messy person. <clears throat> Message one to William Hunter from Mayor Vincetti. Can I read it? He has your ID card. thing. Mm. Play. Hunter, you 
had more reports of kids dying. All were horribly disfigured, like my... my poor daughter. This infection is spreading, whatever it is. We've got to find out what's causing this. I suggest you start at the Pleasure Dome. It's where my daughter was last seen. Look for someone called the Jake. He's one of Chandra's friends. Not that I'd call any of the slime that hangs out there a friend. I'm sending you a vid transmission hard copy of my daughter. It's not pretty, but you might need it. I don't need to remind you that this investigation is strictly unofficial. I don't want a word of this to leak to the press. Good luck. <coughs> message played. Okay, do I have another message? Only Hunter, Mom, Momar's cars. Need a good used hover car? Momar's cars has the answer for you. Come down and check out our fine selection of new and used hover cars. <laughs> I make you a great deal. <laughs> it doesn't look like a car salesman. Let's see, Karen Summers. Blade, where the hell were you last night? We did have a date. Or did that happen to slip your mind? You bag of toxic waste. And don't forget that you left your keys at my place. I should just flush them. I'll be at the Bureau of Records early. In case you happen to roll out of bed before noon. That didn't happen. Hmm, well, can't say I have great taste, huh? Okay, let's power it off and grab my ID here. Come on, let me take it. Or didn't you power on? Okay, it's weird. Uh, Alright. That's all there is. Not oh, boon. Alright, uh, let's see. How do I exit the screen? There we go. Alright. Ah, oh, it's still dripping. Oh boy, that would drive me crazy. Alright, I'm dressed. Let's get out of here. Oh, no, that's the toilet. I need to take a shower in my clothes. Mm -hmm, first aid kit. A lighter, I'm assuming. Can I take the poops? No, oh, the shower right there and the toilet right there. Boy, uh, that is some space efficiency. Okay, uh, anything here we need to look at? Doesn't look one wrong step to the bathroom, and I really have something to piss about. Car. Am I going to walk everywhere? Hmm. Hmm. It's just my place, isn't it? Here. Block his exit. Whoa, whoa, my God, whoa, sorry, sorry. Well, it's a problem with these old adventure games. <clears throat> they make a whole lot of sense most of the time. Uh, 
Oh, you can, you can just jump right off. <laughs> okay, I'll put my clothes back on again. Yes. Yes. Do the video call. Boink. 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 Hunter, we've had more reports of kids dying. Oh, we're horribly disfigured, like my my poor daughter. This infection is spreading, whatever it is. We've got to find out what's causing this. I suggest you start at the pleasure dome. It's where my daughter was last seen. Look for someone called the Jate. He's one of Chandra's friends. Not that I'd call any of the slime that hangs out there a friend. I'm sending you a vid transmission hard copy of my daughter. It's not pretty. You might need it. I don't need to remind you that this investigation is strictly unofficial. I don't want a word of this to leak to the press. Good luck. I forget, keep forgetting it's the C button that selects everything in this game, and not the A button. You happen to roll out of bed before noon. I'll take that. Mm, I should save at this point in time. All right. How do we get out of here? Doesn't look like I'd better do any sleeping for a while. One wrong step to the bathroom, and I really have something to piss about. City Hall, right? Welcome to my place of business, sir. We offer the finest selection of organically grown flowers in the city. My name is Blissful Harmony. You can call me Bliss. How can I help you to find greater harmony in your life? Yeah, see, uh, I'm kind of in trouble with my girlfriend for uh, missing a date, so... I see. I thought... 
thought I detected anxiety in your aura. It's quite orange. May I suggest a bouquet of roses and a kind apology to your lady friend? Well, I don't want to spend much money. Good idea, I'll take a dozen. Forget it. With my charm, I'll talk my way out of it. Uh, how much money do I have? Probably nothing. Yeah, good idea. I'll take a dozen. An excellent choice, sir. I'm sure that these flowers will help you reforge the spiritual bond with your loved ones. Now, if you will give me your card so I can charge your account. Uh, how much is this going to cost me? Two hundred dollars plus tax. But how can you put a price tag on love? May I have your card, sir? Oh, did I not? I thought I got my card with me on this one. No? Yeah, I'll just grab my card. Oh, <laughs> am I stuck without my ID card? <laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah, this is definitely like uh, games of this era. You forget one thing, and then that's it. Instant death. No going back. No way to... Uh, or you can get to points where you can just get completely stuck, I should say. Uh, without a way to recover. That was, uh, it was a very much a normal thing back in these days. You know, nowadays, you would make sure a game uh, would never let you uh, proceed without, without finding some way to get back. You know, here you can, you can basically get yourself stuck and then have to restart from where you loaded. Ah, the good old days of gaming. <laughs> the shitty design days of gaming. Okay, so this is upstairs. I don't want to go. I don't want to go up. I want to go down. Should be okay now. Welcome to. Uh, well, I didn't want to spend much money. Well, we have an El Cheapo brand arrangement of dandelions and ragweed. And that's not quite what I had in mind. I guess I'll take a dozen roses. An excellent choice, sir. I'm sure that these flowers will help you reforge the spiritual bond with your loved ones. Now, if you will give me your card so I can charge your account. Uh, how much is this going to cost me? Two hundred dollars plus tax. But how can you put a price tag on love? May I have your card, sir? Fulfillment in this life cycle. Goodbye. Alright. 
get some flowers. Doom, doom, we're all doomed. Have you gone crazy or what? Bahumat has risen again. I've seen him. What the hell are you talking about? Five thousand years he's waited. We're all doomed. You've been drinking too much rot, guy. We're all doomed. Doomed. Hi, Blade. Wanna play house? Not now, Jenny. I want to see the mayor. Not now, Jenny. I need to see Karen Summers in the Bureau of Records. What do you have in mind? A little dancing, a little moonlight, a little romance, you know. Uh, maybe some of the time I'm on the case right now, and I need to talk to Karen. Sure, Blade. Bye. Sorry, Blade. The mayor can't see you now. No big deal, this can happen. Here, I brought some flowers to make up for my behavior. So I missed our date, sweetheart. I brought you some flowers to show my affection. They're lovely, Blade. But you still owe me a night on the town. How about picking me up at 7 so freaky. dinner at Les Trois? I was thinking of grabbing some Astro Burgers and watching Cyberball on the sat link back at your place. Some other time cupcake. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Great. It's a date then. Here are the keys you left with me, Blade. Yeah. Thanks, Karen. You're welcome, Blade. Come back later if you need me to check out anything else for you. See you later. All right. I got my keys. Like that, we gotta save like often because the game will let you get to. The game will will let you get to a point of no return where if you didn't do something you can't go back and there's no way out of it. Um, it's, it's old school design. Certainly something that was done quite often uh, in this era of gaming where they didn't try to uh, uh, or they didn't prevent you from you know getting to a point of no return. They just said, oh what the hell. <laughs> Reload your old save. <laughs> that, was, that was how things were done. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Okay, now well, let's go check the crime scene. Uh, I know, such an interesting look, huh? I mean, it, uh, Again, this is very indicative of the uh, of the era when this game was made, uh, especially on PC. You know, it's kind of you know a low number of colors on screen, um, but uh, some some pretty good detail. Hold on a second while we scan you. No weapons detected. You're clean. Go on in. Let's go in. Big grump. Excuse me, miss? Yes? My name is William Hunter. People call me Darcy. I'm Ed Sammy. Fine. You're bluffing your ass off, Sam. Call. Just ignore them. Now, what do you want? Look for a man named the Jake. Seen him? Have you ever seen a girl in here named Chandra? You know, quite a card game going on here. Look for a man named the Jake. Hurry up and discard, Dars. Shut up. You're being rude. A 
I'm sorry, I haven't seen that person. Why don't you try the bar? Perhaps there is someone there for you. Now, if you will excuse me, I must get back to relieving these gentlemen of their excess credits. Goodbye, William. Oh, oh it's so quiet. Can't you see I'm busy playing a hand here? I don't know if the mister has an audio boost for Sega CD. I don't think it does. Yeah, not like the Turbo, the Turbo graphics where there's actually a, uh, there's a setting we can do, we can set to make it louder. It says bar. What you want, wimp? Who you calling wimp, Rhino Bread? What? I mean, I'd like to order a drink, please. We don't serve cops in my bar, buddy. I'm not a police officer anymore. Don't matter. You still smell like pig, man. You look like you seen bad. You seen a man called the Jake? Don't give me that. I want a drink, damn it. Uh, seen a man called the Jake. Maybe I have. And maybe I haven't. What's it to you? I have some business with him. Like hell. I'm sure he'll want to hear what I have to say. I don't think he'll care to listen to anything you tell him. But if you want to find him, ask the guy in the green coat at the end of my bar. Yo, Kissa, what you want? <sighs> I'm looking for the Jake. Who are you calling Kissa, Slosh Brain? I'm investigating a murder. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Here, look for the Jake. Yeah? What you want him for? You look mighty uptown to this screw boy. Look, I said, it's been a bad day and I don't need crap from scum like you. Now, where is this guy you called the Jake? A friend of his is in trouble. Ease up, just looking for info. Information. You got some hardware to cover such a request? Listen, uptown. Unless you got something for me. Get out of my face. Hmm. Hello there, handsome. I'm Candy. Looking for a good time, big guy? Uh, my name is Blade and I was looking for a good time, not with you. Sounds like fun, Candy, but I'm here on business. What a coincidence. I'm here on business, too. And it looks like business is picking up. Not monkey business. I mean, serious business. I'm totally serious. And I mean business. Why don't you come home with me? Not a good idea, my girlfriend will approve. Sure. Later, I had to find the Jake. Ever heard of him? I've never heard of him. Maybe you should ask Majalambo. He knows everybody who comes in here. Majalambo? The bartender, silly. Now run along. You're monopolizing the merchandise, if you know what I mean. Hey, greetings, officer. I'm not a police officer. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> no offense. I'm a private investigator, and the name's not Dude, it's Blade. Sorry, dude. Uh, I mean, Blade. 
People around here call me Casey Jones. What can I do you for? Let's see. I'm looking for some information. Do you know where a guy can go for a good time? You look kind of funny. I'm looking for some information. Uh, what were we talking about? Never seen a girl in here named Chandra. Never heard of a man who calls himself the Jake. No I can score a good dose in this dealing joint. Never heard of a man who calls himself the Jake. Sure, man. Me and the Jake, we're like real tight. Uh, I can't quite remember what he looks like, though. Oh, well. Ask around. If he's here, I'm sure you'll run into him eventually. Uh, if he wants you to, that is. <laughs> Thanks for the info. No problem. I'll see you around, dude. I mean, man. I mean, play. <laughs> Go away. We don't serve your kind in here. He wants hardware? What the heck does he want? What is this exactly? The Apti Nevian Aerosol Personal Protection Device. This product was developed to disable an assailant. It in instead induces euphoria, rendering them incapable of anything. Ah, oh, okay. <coughs> Lloyd's ID card. This multi purpose device serves its owner as a credit chip, ID card, medical info data, base, and door key. Cabinet keys. Archaic devices once widely used for security purposes. There are now they are now mainly obsolete. Uh, obsolete. Medkit. This is an old familiar friend. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? He says he wants something, but I don't know what he wants. Is there no place else to go? Stop bothering me, Jack. Listen up, town. Unless you got something for me, get out of my face. Hmm. Should I spray him? No. No. Ah, I may need to go back. Get whatever's in my cabinet, I guess. Hmm. Mm, I'm not sure. Meanwhile, uh, Mr. Kwong, I, I must regretfully inform you that we are a week behind schedule on our production quota. We must be ready in three days, or the schedule will not be met. We need more time. We're already pushing the end of the safety margin for the reactor coolant systems. You must push them harder. You will either meet the production schedule or face the wrath of Bahumat. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I I'll see what more can be done, Mr. Kwong. Ah, 
Okay. <laughs> all this stuff. Personal explosive device. These small but <coughs> powerful explosive devices contain flight TNT suspended in a polymer base. Placed strategically, a single bomb can do great damage. Wire tester, Acme Little Giant wire testing kit. Contains three leads, red positive, blue negative, and yellow ground. Let's see, Fisto candy bar, highly prized black market trade trade item due to the extreme scarcity of sugar. Ah, okay, makes sense. No, it's a candy bar. Candy bar, candy bar. for the personal explosives I'm walking around with, but okay. Okay, you want a candy bar, huh? Fine, here's a candy bar. Listen up, town. Unless you got something for me, get out of my face. No? No candy bar? Hmm, I don't know what to do with this. Oh, uh, don't bother me now. I'm clipping a good buzz. I don't want to spoil it. Listen up, town. Unless you got something for me, get out of my face. Hmm. What do you want? Nope. No good. No idea. Ah. Yeah, well, okay. Why don't we stop it there? I'm kind of stuck. Uh, this is Out Apostrophe, watching Rise of the Dragon, uh, which originally appeared on Sega CD, <coughs> or uh, previously on PC. Um, yeah, I mean, I still think it's a pretty interesting game. Uh, the point-and-click interface doesn't really work very... I mean, the, the, it, it's serviceable. You know, you can get the job done. Um, but uh, you know, it's, it is sort of hard to work with the, uh, the point-and-click interface on a controller. Uh, they did the best they can, and I think it, I think it works for the most part. Um, but, you know, folks might be more comfortable playing this game on, uh, on PC through, a, uh, uh, through an emulator. You know, a modern PC wouldn't be able to play this uh, natively. Uh, not unless there was some sort it was wrapped in some sort of package uh, that could uh, play it on a 64-bit system. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's cool. Uh, I like the uh, I like the atmosphere. The voice acting is, you know, questionable sometimes. Uh, and, uh, the, you know, the art and the sound uh, are actually still pretty good. Um, so yeah, I think it's worth checking out. It's, as I said, it's a bit of a game that's lost through history. And uh, I know it was popular when it came out uh, for a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of PC users. But uh, again, the style, of, uh, the style of adventure game uh, does let you get stuck to the point where you actually have to reload. And if you didn't save, well, you're out of luck. <laughs> it's a it's a cruel, cruel game, but uh, very common for uh, for games of this era. So check it out if you can. I, I still think it's worth playing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.